Understanding Correct Address, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase in English, correct address. This phrase is often used in both formal and informal settings, and understanding its usage can be very helpful. Let's dive in and demystify what correct address means and how you can use it in everyday conversations. Correct address refers to the accurate and complete location details of a place or a person. This can include the street name, number, city, state, and zip code. It's crucial in various contexts, like mailing letters, delivery services, or providing directions. Key points. Accuracy is essential. The emphasis is on having all the details right. Context matters. It can be used in different situations, from postal services to personal invitations. To help you understand better, let's see how correct address is used in sentences. 1. Please ensure you have the correct address before sending the package. 2. I need to update my documents with my correct address. 3. Did you give the taxi driver the correct address? These examples show the phrase in action, emphasizing the importance of accurate information. Some learners confuse correct address with right address. While similar, right address can sometimes mean the most suitable or appropriate address, not necessarily the accurate one. Remember, correct address equals precise location. Right address equals suitable or appropriate location. In English-speaking countries, providing the correct address is vital for reliable communication and services. It's a sign of responsibility and attention to detail. Tips for practice. Always double-check addresses in your communication. Practice writing down addresses accurately. That's all on correct address. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your daily English conversations. Remember, getting the address right is key to effective communication. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson. Stay curious and keep learning.